But I'd also tell you that when it comes to unemployment benefits, we know what's going on in America. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost their job. As of September of this year, the end of September, 400,000 Americans lost their unemployment benefits. Another 200,000 will occur within this month, and then 1.3 million total by the end of the year. And we have asked the Republicans, will you let us extend unemployment benefits for people who have no way to sustain their families? No. They want to filibuster this. They want to offer amendments that have nothing to do with this whatsoever. They want to drag it out. They have no sensitivity to these people who've lost their job and are struggling to keep their families together under the most difficult circumstances. What happened to you in a conference committee has happened to all of us. You had an amendment adopted in the Senate. As I understand it, we all supported it. It died in conference. It's frustrating. It's something you believe in, something we all voted for, and you didn't get your way. But does that mean we're going to stop consideration of this conference report? We're not going to pass an energy and water appropriation bill because your amendment didn't survive in conference? If all 100 members of the Senate took that position, we'd never pass anything. W w the would fact the senator is that, yield? I, when I finish speaking, the fact is that each of us has to accept the reality here. We don't always get what we want. I have been denied opportunities in conferences for things that I really cared for. One of them, for example, was to say that the federal government was going to make up the difference in pay from activated federal workers who served in our Guard and Reserve. And year after year, conference after conference, it would be adopted here on the Senate floor and killed in conference by the chairman from Alaska. Did I stop the money for the Department of Defense because of that? Of course not. I said tomorrow's another day and I'll fight for it another day. But to stop the bill and say we're going to hold on for 30 hours or more because I didn't get my amendment in conference? And when it comes to the unemployment benefits, we're paying for these the same way every president has paid for them, through the FUTA tax. It's paid for, and frankly, it should be. These are people who paid into unemployment compensation for the day when they need it, and now the money's coming back out to pay them. But some people here have a different theory of how they want to pay for it. So hundreds of thousands of unemployed Americans are waiting for the latest Republican theory on how to finance unemployment benefits. It's cold comfort to them to know that we're having this great academic debate when a question about food on the table and taking care of their family is number one in their minds. That's just the problem with what's happened here. You can always dream up a reason to vote no. You can always dream up a better idea. But at some point, the business of government has to get on. People count on us, and for in this case, hundreds of thousands of unemployed people.